What would it really look like if you were given anything that you ever asked for, anything that you dreamed of was like the biggest reality? What would that look I think that that was a question that my professor at Howard University asked me recently, and she was really trying to figure out what my full-on intentions were as opposed to what I was presenting and what I was bringing to her. I think that you just need to think big, think bigger than anything imaginable, especially when you have a business, you've got something that you're personally working on. You just need what does it mean to dream bigger? Thinking bigger in terms of if you were to aim for a goal, right? If you were to work for a company and your goal is to get a promotion, what happens when you get that promotion? People are always thinking about one small goal instead of the end all be all, but what if you received your end all be all from the beginning? Would that be enough and is that your dream? So I always encourage people to continue to think better and dream bigger and just to continue to be the best version of yourself. So the first point that I wanna think of is thinking past your conventional goals, right? When you're thinking of your overall goals, if I were to work at a corporation and I originally had a job doing project management at a company, I started as an assistant project manager and when I was an assistant project manager, my goal was to become a project manager. After project manager, then a senior project project manager, AVP, VP, SVP, MD, then it would lead up to the C-suite of the business. I had a trajectory and I think that the time that I spent trying to aim towards it, it's a time span of thinking conventionally. What if I were to get this in about two, three years, just the track record that I'm working at was something that I was striving towards, but then what, right? So I think a lot of times when you think conventionally and you can't get past those goals, you're put in a place of complacency and that complacency is not something that makes people the happiest and it can build resentment and it can really limit your ability to think beyond your wildest dreams and really be into the pathway that other people have for you. So what that would look like is, if my job was to start as an associate project manager, then if I don't get the promotion in the time I gave myself two to three years for, then I'm kind of confused and I'm kind of put into a position where I don't know what to do because it's almost as if I'm broken. Whereas vice versa, on a positive way, if I did receive the promotion, if I received a promotion less than a year in, I now have two extra years where I don't know what I can do to reframe and think of how I can dream bigger than my wildest dreams are imaginable. People get promoted for tons of reasons. Things change in your life that can actually be a reason that you may not think about. You may have had an opportunity that now puts you on a track record to be at an accelerated rate compared to the ones that other people have. And I think that a lot of our counterparts and people that we may work with, be around and be surrounded with, they don't think about the conventional route because the conventional route is something that just doesn't change, right? That's something that it's either, are you on track? Yes or no? Did it happen? Yes or no? If you are on track for a promotion, did you receive that promotion? That's going to happen. So preparing your life in that situation is inevitable and you should always be prepared when you are thinking conventionally, but think bigger than that because things can happen. And when you aren't prepared and you aren't thinking conventionally, when something happens, which we call like those emergencies in life, your body can be tensed up. You can be put into a crippling moment where you can't do anything to operate and be the best version of yourself. And that really can set you back further than it puts you forward. So move past and think past conventional goals. Long-term vision and planning and impact, right? So being in a space of taking that job example is if I were to try to work and have a larger impact, right? If my goal is to buy a house or if my goal is to purchase a car or anything like that, what is that going to do for me? I think a lot of times people have these goals is to buy a really nice supercar. And then once they get the supercar, something could have happened that'll change the way that you think of things, but you didn't think about the and what. People don't think about the maintenance on a car. People don't think about putting gas in a car. People don't think about the maintenance of being a homeowner, the time that goes into that. So when you aren't thinking and you aren't planning in a space of the long-term vision, you always should be in a space where you are thinking and what. What is next? What is going to happen in this space? And it, it's just being, it's being optimistic. And I implore people to always think about what could potentially happen and planning for the unplanned, but thinking about what's next. If you want to buy a house, is it 
because you want it to be an investment property or do you want a house because you want somewhere new to live in once you get these goals that you really attain your form of happiness isn't going to be defined by those goals it's really taking the happiness and having the journey that can continue to make sure that on a daily basis you feel good about the things that you're navigating towards and you're working towards that's something that you want to just start to think of so you can enjoy the process if i'm going back to the example of the job that i'm working for a promotion for instead of trying to wait two three years of doing the same thing over and over and over I can go to work, be excited for work, be present, and think that everything I'm doing has impact in my own way. When you have a business, a big thing that what I do is I own a fashion brand and a big portion of the proceeds from my fashion brand goes into uplifting, celebrating, and highlighting the black community. What does my impact look like if I had an unlimited budget? Is it something that I'm able to impact more lives? Am I able to impact the people around me? You have to think bigger than what it is. From a space Space of having a goal and being in an environment where people around you can provide you with those opportunities what happens if there was somebody like yourself that could multiply your output and got two of them if I were to be an event planner and I can throw an event and my biggest goal is to throw an event the size of a hundred people is it because of the impact of a hundred people or is it the programming effort of the event for a specific community the city of Los Angeles is huge right so if I wanted to have an event for the residents of Los Angeles, there's a cap between the unimaginable where some people would say that I want to have an event that's really popping in Los Angeles. So the size of your actual output is contingent on the container that's around it, right? So the city of Los Angeles is a larger container than the venue space that resides inside of Los Angeles. So given that that's the case is that you may want to impact the residents of Los Angeles, you may need to host events in different areas to accommodate to that. When we're looking at really exciting events that happen, the Olympics just passed with the Olympics. It's not a question of filling the city with, or filling the country for that matter, like the ability to sell out arenas and stuff like that. People are coming from all across the world to participate in something like that. So the impact goes beyond the container that's put inside of it. When you look at some of your favorite celebrities, maybe artists, and they're selling out venues, could that venue that they sold out have been larger when we see videos of people that selling out Madison Square Garden it's one of the largest venues in the world having that that is a container that's really large compared to somebody that might say I want a sold out show but when you think of it from a long-term perspective it's not just the the one container goal it is what is that impact that's driving you to give you everything that you want and more plan for that but even if you push boundaries step out of your comfort zone. You may say that I want to do a book signing, but the book signing, I sold 10 copies of my book. Having a stage of hundreds of people to come sign the book, <laughs> to sign the book to doesn't necessarily make the most sense because you haven't sold that many copies. There is a pushing boundaries aspect of it, of being realistic and finding out how you can get that and reverse engineering it to say that Maybe if I were to do a giveaway or if I hosted something that could start to bring in a larger audience, you can fit the container that you're trying to be in. Or it could be a timing thing, right? It might take more time to be able to sit in that space that you're really adamant about being in, but really pushing the boundaries in a reasonable and effective way to continue to just elevate yourself and continue to build off of that. So stepping outside of your comfort zones, but continuing to be realistic about everything that you are trying to actually be there, being proud present is super important. I think that a lot of times people are on autopilot because it's stressful, right? The state of the economy, people's jobs, paying for everything, life is expensive. And with life being expensive, people need to make things work. So with that being said, you have to constantly find a way to teeter between dreaming big, but being realistic. And also that leads to the topic of surrounding yourself with other big thinkers and the environment that's around you. The people that you surround yourself with will only be people that can celebrate you or they can contain you and hold you back from things that are larger than life. I'm very blessed to have a surrounding of a good community around me and I they always encourage me to think bigger than my biggest dream. If my goal is to make $10, they're like, wait till you get 20. Just continue to think about, okay, and then what? And the big part about it is if they can't think larger than the, than the dreams that I have, they encourage me to meet other people who can see things larger than I can see for myself. 
myself. So the role of the environment that's around you plays a significant role and significant impact on being able to say that, yes, that is a good dream, but yes, you are, you are on the right track. Yes, this makes sense. Yes, this is realistic. What will come after that to the fact where if you were to be gifted everything that you're aiming for in an accelerated time, what is that going to look like that you will be the best version of yourself and more? That community is going to push you to help you to succeed to get to that next step and be in a space where your wildest dreams could come true. So surrounding yourself with a really big community is important. People around you will also have you sit in a space where you will now know the importance of what your bigger dreams could be. But then also sometimes they don't have everything around you and they can't provide you with those resources. They can challenge you to go out and find those, whether they have the resources to recommend that to you or continue to just really push you to be a better version of yourself. But it's always important to really have that environment that's there. But if you were given everything that you ever dreamed of, or if you sat comfortably in a space where you can just creatively think and creatively be the best version of yourself, had access to unlimited resources, what would you do with that? And I think that that's the question that you have to constantly ask yourself on a day to day basis, whether it's your profession, your career, your job, your friendships, your activities, leisure, anything that's around you that you really appreciate. What happens if there's no limits behind it? What would you be able to accomplish? What would you be able to get through? And what would you do next? Those are the questions that we have. If you like this type of content, let me know below. Let me know what you dream of and how we can think of dreaming bigger. Subscribe, comment, and see you soon. Peace.